Hey there, this is me, the Metaverse Explorer. Thanks for joining me. So, for the next two weeks, every two days or three days, I'm going to be making a video about the Solana ecosystem. So stay tuned if you want to find out what we're going to look at. Today's episode, we're going to be looking at an introductory and beginner's course into Radium, the pancake swap of BSC or the Uniswap of the Ethereum ecosystem. We're going to be looking at swapping, providing liquidity, and just general information about Radium. If you want to support the channel and want to make sure others see this video, then just like and subscribe. Shout out to the Star Atlas team, the Radium team, the Grape community especially, Dean the Machine, and Whale's Tales. All right, let's get to it. Thanks. All right, everyone, thanks for coming back. So today we're going to be looking at Radium, which is the pancake swap of uh, BSC and Uniswap of Ethereum. We can go on CoinGecko, which is a default uh, search for cryptocurrencies, and we can type in Radium. Can currently see it's 162 at the moment. So we're priced against Bitcoin and it's, uh, it's about 0.0014 on BTC. We can have a look at some information here very quickly. It's market cap. Let's change from BTC to US dollar. Current market cap in US is about $400 million. The fully diluted market cap is 3.7 billion. Circulating supply is 60 million and total supply is 555 million. So it's got quite a small circulating supply and we'll see why that is at the moment. We can look at the price chart very quickly and you can see it's been going pretty sideways, a bit of a dip here now seems to be trending upwards. From an all-time high, it's gone down 80, 58%. Okay, then one of the easiest ways to get to Radium is through verified sources such as CoinGecko. You just have to look for this right here and that takes you to their website. There we go. Okay, so this is the Radium website. We can launch the app, but we'll talk about them for a second. They have a total value locked of nearly $1 billion and they've gotten $8 billion in uh, trading volume. You can do a few things on Radium. You can trade, you can exchange and do some yielding. You can do liquidity po uh, pooling and they have their own IDU projects where you can subscribe to early projects before they launch. Two of the most important partners for Radium is Solana and Serum. They have a very special relationship because Serum runs its own order book on Solana. Radium taps into Serum. We'll talk a bit more about that later. Going back up, let's launch their app. All right, so the default app that it looks like is this. You have your contact information on the bottom left, all your top trading things that you need to do, all your cryptocurrency things on the top. Let's go ahead and connect our wallet for now. These are a few wallets that are supported. Phantom, Solit, Ledger, Solong. I really do recommend Phantom. It is the best wallet on Solana at the moment, the most user-friendly, and you can see your NFTs. Let's connect there. All right, I'm connected now. Now you notice that it starts your default on swap and not trading. We'll go to trading and you can see it's a bit more complex for intermediate to advanced users. It gives you limit orders, buy and sell, on an order book on a blockchain, which is very unique for Solana. You can see the buy and sell orders at the moment and the current spread between these two. You can see the recent price moves here. Someone made a big order very recently. Okay, we're not going to go through this because this is a beginner video, but you can look at all the other different markets that you can trade against. Let's go back to swap. And let's connect back our wallet, Phantom, connected. Okay. For the purpose of this video, we're going to transfer, we're going to do a few things in here, starting with just 10 USDC. So within my wallet, I have some USDC. I have 10. I'm going to trade half of this to Radium, and then we'll provide some liquidity. We'll farm that liquidity, and we'll talk a few more about if, a bit more about the other facilities here. So we have 10 USDC here. I want to trade half of that 
for a few other tokens that live on the Solana blockchain. We're going to go with Radium at the moment because that's what the purpose of this video is. Most of these other coins on here are um, wrapped tokens on the Solana blockchain, wrapped Luna, wrapped BUSD, wrapped FTT from FTX. There are also a few Solana native tokens, Orca, an exchange media platform, Mango tokens, Port Finance, and Sabre, another AMM. But for now, let's choose Radium. I'm going to trade half my 10 USDC to Radium, and we can see we get 0 0.734817. Now, we bought, before we go ahead and swap, we'll talk about the top things here. This is a refresh button to refresh to the most current rates. This is an information address that gives you all the addresses for all the markets and all the tokens you're interacting with. And if you click on them, you can see them on the blockchain. A settings tab where you can select your slippage. Now I usually opt for 0.1% slippage, but that's very low. 0.5% is okay. 1% is your, you're okay. And if you want to search for a specific pool or a specific swap, you can put in its own ID and you'll be able to find it here. All right, so five USD to 0 0.7 Ray. The slippage tolerance is 1%. We're swapping through the radium pool. We're going to receive at minimum 0 0.72 and price impact is 0.0%. So this is a very small trade. It won't affect anything in the pool. Let's go ahead and swap and you can see how fast Solana is swapping. Transaction has been sent. Transaction has been confirmed. We've now swapped five to 0 0.7. And you can see I have now five and now I have 0 0.34. Very good, that was very fast. Now I have an equal amount of USDC and Radium. Let's have a look at the liquidity tab. So currently I'm providing three liquidity pools. Liquidity is when you match up your token with another token and you're able to offer that to other people to trade against. If someone has USDC and they want some cropper, they'll trade in this pool. If they have some slim, but they want sol, they'll trade in this pool. So I'm helping them facilitate these trades. Right now, let's go ahead and add some liquidity to Radium and USDC. As you can see, we have 0 0.73 and 5 USDC. I'm going to click the max for Radium, but unfortunately the price has changed by 4 cents. So I'm only going to put 5 USDC and 0 0.4. I still don't have enough. Let's change that a little bit. And let's go 4. Let's do 4.9. 4 $4.9 dollars. Okay. All you have to do is click supply. Transaction has been sent and now it's confirmed. We are now providing liquidity in the Ray USD pool. We've pulled 0 0.72 Ray. We've pulled 4.8 USDC. Our pool tokens are 0 0.5%, 0.52 of the pool, and our pool share is less than 0 0.01. It's very, very small because this is a very big pool. Now the system knows I am providing liquidity for Ray and USDC. Let's take this and look at all the other pools. These are the pools on Radium. There are a lot of them. Some of them are Radium specific pools where Radium has put them up themselves and some of them are permissionless pools where anyone can create a market ID. As you can tell, I'm providing liquidity to the top three of the permissionless pools. Let's go back to the Radium pool here. Solana USD, Ray, Sol, Solana USDT. Now let's go down and search for our Ray and USD. There we are, Ray, USDC. There's currently 54 million in that pool. It's traded 11 million in the last 24 hours, 94 million in the last seven days, and it's accrued $29,000 in fees, which is an estimated 20% API. APY. Let's click on that pool. Uh, we'll go back here to farms. So in the farming section, this is where if you're providing liquidity for other people to you to swap and get other tokens, 
you can give that token yourself to, as a receipt and you can put it into the farms. So you're telling the system that, hey, I'm a good person, I'm providing liquidity for other people to trade. Do you want to give me anything for that? So in the farming section, there are radium specific farms, which we will be using this one, the Ray and USDC LP, which gives you an APR at the moment of 98%. Because you are providing liquidity in this pool, if you put your receipt tokens in this pool, you will receive 18.26% of fees and the Radium protocol will give you 80% as well as a thank you for letting other people trade with your tokens. This exposes you to impermanent loss, which is something we'll have a big talk about in another video. There are dual yield pools on Radium, which give you two tokens. So you will be receiving fees, the Radium token and Serum token in the Serum in the Serum Ray pool. Let's go back to our Radium pool. We're going to provide this. We're going to stake our LP in the Ray USDC pool. We have 0.25 of them, 0.52. We're going to put our max and confirm. Transaction sent. Transaction will be confirmed very soon. There we go. Okay. Now, we have our Ray USDC pool farming 18.26% of fees and Radium is also giving us 80.35%, 39%. So in a day or so, we can come back here and collect our rewards. And if we want, we can swap those rewards to USDC and then provide further liquidity in this pool, which is also known as compounding. There are other services on Radium that provide this at the moment. So with this LP provision, you are subject to impermanent loss. If you don't like this, many people don't, you can single side stake Radium. If you have Radium by itself, you can earn 22% APR, which is non-compounding. You can come here and collect your own Radium, add it back into the pool and stake it again. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to remove my liquidity from the Ray USDC. All of these transactions cost 0.0005 cents, nothing. All right, I'm going back to liquidity to remove my liquidity from the Ray USDC. And it will give me 4.9 USDC and 0.71 Ray. Very good. We'll go back to staking. We'll stake some Ray. I have 0 0.73, which I got from this pool that we've removed, and I will stake that in there. Transaction sent, transaction confirmed. I'm currently earning 22% on my 0 0.732 Radium. I can come back tomorrow, collect my rewards, and stake it again. If you want to remove it, this button, and remove. Last but not least, we'll talk about the accelerator at Radium. The accelerator is the IDO pad where other projects in Solana can come and, prov and offer their tokens for you to purchase. We have Media, which is a video platform, Mercurial, a stable pool, synthetic assets, asset management, and social media. You can see all of these are really oversubscribed because a lot of people want these tokens. What I'm really looking forward to is a Star Atlas IDO, which is possibly the biggest IDO on Solana coming up. I will go very briefly and show you how the pools work. Within this pool, it is a lottery pool. You will have a ticket allocated based on some parameters. So the requirements to join, make sure you read them very carefully here. You will need some Ray that you have been staked. 
you will have a certain time period to have to come in and provide your tickets. So for 1,666 like tokens was the raise that they were going to do. It was 0.06 USDC for a like and you could only put $50 maximum and there were 69,000 tickets. Each accelerator has a different mechanism. Lottery um, and some of them where you needed 50 ray to be in the pool, you need 500 ray to be in the pool. Some of them were private, some of them are community, which is the most oversubscribed. There were no limitations to this pool, so anyone could put some money in. My next video will talk about the Star Atlas IDO and how you can participate on the Solana BSC and FTX exchange. And before I leave you, I'm going to show you the Migrate tab. These are for changes in the pools for assets that are moving from wrapped assets to native assets. And if the DEX is improving its protocol, DEX 2 to 3, I expect DEX 4 to be coming very soon. Oh, DEX 4 is already here. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, this is just a beginner's video, not an intermediate or advanced user's video. They'll be coming a bit later. Um, so shout out to the GRIP community again, Dean the Machine, Whales Tales. I love your videos, man. Thanks a lot. Um, we're going to be doing some more videos on the GRIP community, the GRIP tokenomics, and how to get access to some of these gates in the, in the Solana ecosystem. Um, look up here. You can find my Solana address if you want to help a guy out. I'm trying to get into the port uh, finance um, ecosystem, the port finance community, um, and also a few other great communities that I'm trying to get into. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe if you like it.